Now we get to choose play, 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 or customize. Wait, Byoyomi mode? Guys. <laughs> we could have all the stress of a real game. <laughs> Except I... Wait, who do you suppose this player is down here? We got how cute, pro, null, guest, and some other random dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you suppose that is? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Even better than BAOE mode, we could customize the mode. Number of lives, raise difficulty, maximum time, maximum move time. Alright, I'll bite. One life survival. Oh, uh, wait. They've already got survival mode. But let's um, raise difficulty every puzzle. Maximum time. Yeah, th five minutes will be enough. Maximum time per move. Five seconds. This should be a mode. <laughs> this is like a death sentence. But also, I don't care. <laughs> Uh, what have we got? Oh, I got, we got the best Suma Shogi solver, Chinchilla. Yes. Uh, 10 seconds per move is much more realistic. It really is. Like, there's no way I'm going to get anything in five. Uh, yeah. But since I'm a noob, I'll give myself just a slight break here. And for my own sanity, I'll give myself another break. So, one life. Raise difficulty every puzzle. Uh, maximum one minute. Or we have one minute to do as many puzzles as we can. Maximum time 30 seconds. This is going to be a train wreck. But it'll be fun. Each. Ni. San. Shi. Okay. Um, I forgot we're using this piece set. <laughs> uh, it makes sense that we use this piece set, but I forgot that we're using it. Hey, I got one. Alright, can I get one more? Wait, I've seen this position before. Wrong. Okay. That was exciting. See? Got a new high score today of one for this absurdly ridiculous category. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they should make this like a challenge mode. Uh, like they have several other leaderboard challenge mode things. I think this mode, where you have like 10 seconds, one life, and it gets harder every problem. is just completely unfair and funny. Um, so yeah, uh, Dragon here was the answer. Alright, you got two... Yeah. Ah, you need to beat 13 today. Alright, now where's the restart button? I don't see a restart button here. Guess we have to go back. Yeah, so that mode was ridiculous. Um... Oh, refresh the page will do it. Nice. Alright, yeah, we'll try refresh next time that we fail. Which should be, like, in a minute. Um. Too late. I already solved it. Or something. Wait, it's this, right? No. Alright, I failed. How is this a failure? Oh, wait, this bishop covers the square. Okay. So, like, I wasn't even in the right ballpark. Um, interesting. Oh, I see. So, yeah, Lance takes, King retreats, and then Knight drop his mate. Yeah, that, this is not a beginner problem. 
Yes, it is a mate in three, but my goodness, um, I'm not going to see that. I assumed that, like, the first problem would be the easy one. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is beginner. Just shows how much of a beginner of a beginner that I am. I don't know why I'm doing this other than for our collective amusement, which I suppose is a good enough reason. Now wait. Wait a second. Pretty sure I see something here. Wait, why is this... Okay, refresh gave me, like, normal Bioyumi survival, which is probably better. Like, that ridiculously unfair mode was probably not a good idea, but also gave me an excuse for failing. Uh, now I have no excuse. Now I just get embarrassed. Um, check. Yay, I got one. Yeah, I was first pondering, like, why can't silver takes also mate? And the answer is pretty obvious, but also I'm a beginner, so, like, I keep saying this over and over, like, I am a beginner. You don't realize just how many stupid ideas I come up with. Um, it only takes one good idea to actually solve the puzzles, but... Uh, yeah, come up with many bad ideas first. Wait, do I see this? Takes, takes, drop, back, drop something here, back, mate. That seems unnecessarily complicated. I don't have any other first move. Like, takes is the only first move here. Okay, I got it wrong. And we can review later. Um, I've seen this position before and I've forgotten the answer. Um, Wait, this actually looks really simple. Um, wait, this does not promote. My work would have to go up one more square to promote, so I can't promote on this first move. Um, I still have to take the silver. It's not like... I mean, maybe somehow I can surround this king and force things to go a different direction. I'm confused. It's like the two things to consider here are gold drop here or rook moves anywhere. And depending where the rook moves, different stuff can happen. Um, like I almost, no, rook here is not it, even worth considering. Um, I don't know why you tuned into this. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, we wanted to see me do this. We want to see me fail. I think this is the uh, focal point of the entertainment. It's not me solving thing. Wait, check. Silver takes is forced, and then Rook moves away with mate to follow. In fact, no, it's immediate mate. Uh, yeah, so this traps the king, and this blocks the inner position. I have seen that before. Okay, looking at chat. Um... Yeah, and then you want to see me improve, and if you don't want to play, then this is a good alternative. Okay, that's fair. Okay, so they're not, you're not all here to watch me fail. Some would love to see me improve. And since there's a lot of room for improvement, um, yeah. 
Wait, what? What's going on here? What a curious position. Oh, bishop takes is covering this. All right. Uh, um. That's why this drop doesn't work. Uh, wait, no. Gold drop is no good here because king takes rook check. Uh, there are multiple pieces that can block the check, but also the rook hangs, and I don't have a follow-up. Um, rook check, silver takes is no good. Uh, gold drop, one of these squares might be candidates. If gold drop, rook takes here. Uh, I don't have a check. If rook check here with three pieces that can take it. If this takes mate there, if rook takes nothing, and if silver takes mate here, but yeah, this fork um, is refuted by. Wait, no, the rook blocks the bishop, so this is the move. It's the interference tactic. Yep. Yeah, we found the focus square. Alright, so we missed one. Which one did we miss? This thing. So I was thinking the token just keeps going back, taking all the pieces. Oh, the king can escape to the center. Okay, I have to prevent that. Um, the only way to prevent that is with uh, my horse taking the silver. But that doesn't lead to a mate. Okay, well... That's weird. Horse takes, the king goes back to two or four two. Um, there's no ensnaring the king anymore. It's escaped. And we've seen that Tokin takes is refuted by the king running to the center. Um, What happens if silver 4-2 is the question? Then, yeah, they take the token. That makes sense. I mean, one candidate that entered my mind is silver 4-4. Four four. Just because it's a check, and if pawn takes, like, there might be something. But I can't imagine what. Um... Like, I can't imagine how this is better without a silver. Because either pace, either of my pieces takes on 2-3, and, like, I have nothing. It's not even close. Clearly 3-4 is the point we're all contending over. But, there's, like, I don't see a way I can do anything about it. Okay, that is the craziest thing ever. Um, wow. Like, I considered this, and I thought, like, this is absolute nonsense. In terms of chess patterns, it doesn't make any sense. Um, uh, in terms of shogi, yeah, no, like, there are alternatives here, too, but... Um, but yeah, what I was looking at is, like the silver drop, if the king goes this way, we're, ex we're escorting the king to a place where, um, uh, why 
does this make no sense in chess, but it makes sense in shogi? I think it's because of the way pawns capture in shogi versus the way pawns capture in chess. Um, like, if this were a chess pawn, even a drop here would be inviting the king to run like more toward the pawn, more toward the center of the board. You never see this kind of thing, this deflection into a mate. This does not happen in chess. Um, if, even if you were to like swap these two pawns or something, this in chess would still never make sense, even if that were a queen. Like just the way the chess pieces move, this particular arrangement would never happen. Um, but in shogi, this is possible. So we're forcing the king to move into a mating net that otherwise we do not have. This, yeah. Right. I mean, I considered this and I, like, discarded it and considered it again and discarded it again. Like, multiple times this came to mind and I'm like, this makes absolutely no sense here. Just instantly discarded it. But, um, yeah, I can't, like, throw out candidate moves like that because then I get to a phase where I'm out of candidates. Um, I can't, I have to think more carefully before I discard moves. Um, yeah, this is crazy. All right, um, let's go back to survival mode. Now there's a login register thing. Not available yet. Okay, that's what I thought. Um. Hmm. All right, well, yeah. You only have 30 seconds per move. Keep solving until you get three wrong answers. The uh, difficulty will gradually increase. Let's give this a try. It seems insane, but it also gives me an excuse for failing. Uh, I'm already confused. This is somehow reassuring, just having that excuse ready as to why I fail. Not that I require one, but it is still reassuring. Okay, we failed three. Very nice. Alright, let's start with this one. So here, silver drop is wrong. Um, oh, okay. yeah, I see now why. Uh, okay, so what can I do, I wonder? Oh, well, I lost my list of problems. We have our original attempt. Oh, no, I have the list. All right. Um... I still have the list of my other browser tab. 
Uh, first of all, this is a lance, not a pawn. Um, like, the two are extremely distinguishable, and yet I'm just an idiot. Um, so, recognizing the pieces might be a good thing. Um, wait, since that's a lance, then surely this is it with this? Yeah, okay. That wasn't so hard. All right, failure number two, the one in the middle was this. This one's, it feels tricky. Um, so like this feels like the sort of thing where the last move is gonna be moving the dragon. And the first move has to be some other ridiculous move that you would not normally consider, but makes sense here somehow. It's like the couple moves that most came to mind were this check and this check. Um, this check king takes. That's no good. This check, I don't know. Bishop takes, I guess. There's some reason why this check is bad. Like, there's this one too, but like, almost certainly the king is escaping. Like, you probably just move the king in all these lines. So, moving the silver is maybe not it. Am I actually supposed to move the dragon first? Like this check. What does the opponent even do? A well, king takes. And the king escapes. I think. Yeah, the king escapes to the upper left corner here. If I try to check, check, check along the diagonal, the king doesn't have to keep going toward the lower left, they can actually run the other diagonal. So, if I'm not going to give two checks at once, then this dragon interposing, uh, we're still going to see king take silver, which is still no good for us. Wait, this king's surrounded for the most part. I can actually do this. Why... I thought, like, yes, I saw this possibility, but I thought the king would escape somehow. Um, like, I thought king would go 3-3 three, three here, um, which it can't. Yeah, I tend to look at double checks first, and other, like, contact checks and stuff. Yeah, so... Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> Video game composer slash developer. Dungeon generation algorithm JK music time. Super Shiggy is great. She's entertaining. I didn't realize she'd be on at this hour either. She usually does like Sunday. Uh, dungeon Generation Algorithm. She could do it. Like, she developed Rockwin. This amazing, amazing Steam game where I've gotten nowhere in the game, but the story seems fantastic. The artwork we see on her Twitch channel is hilarious. Her sense of humor, dungeon generation algorithm stream. Like, who does that? Uh, uh, a nerd. Wait a second. Wait a second. This silver drop would protect my knight. So therefore, silver drop, king moves... The rook moves here, check. They, um, 
the king is actually encased. Okay, this is a beginner problem, but oh my god. Like, I've never seen this pattern in an actual game. That's really interesting. That is super awesome. That, like, normally... Yeah, I would, like, say there's no way this king is trapped. Like, surely some inner position will save it. No, the bishop just takes. Well, surely the king can just run some... Nope. The king is completely surrounded, and the checking piece only covers uh, one square. The rest is covered by this knight here, as well as the silver. And, yeah, that is really cool. Knights are tricky. Even in shogi, knights are tricky. Alright, so... Let's go back to Biyomi Survival. Ah, pick a mode. I don't know why I'm even letting you pick, but... Suggest something. I guess the reason I'm letting you guys pick is because there's ten of you and one of me. Uh, yeah... I kind of like, though, like, with the Byoyomi stress, I like here that I'm only going to be suffering Byoyomi for, at most, a few moves. I'm not going to be suffering an entire game in Byoyomi, and I have, like, the perfect excuse for failing, and it cuts off after my third failure. Survival mode? Alright, we're going to survive. No excuses this time, other than me being a beginner, which we know. Wait, gold drop, silver drop. I've seen this before. Why is that better? No, because pawn promote. This token does not defend the pawn. Yeah, I've seen this particular problem before. Alright, number two. Uh, I think I might have seen this before, too. So, rook drop, knight check, dragon mate. Um, wait, what about king 1-2? King 1-2, knight takes, dragon takes, uh, lance drop, I don't know. Like, somehow, like, you don't... No, I'm sorry, this is a pawn. This is not their pawn. This is my pawn. They can't do king 1-2. Uh, yeah. So, check and checkmate. Right, you don't promote there. Alright, we knew that. I knew what to do, but I accidentally promoted. Yep, you warned me. I, I don't watch the chat at all. Like, uh, maybe I should watch the chat. That might be a good idea. <sighs> we keep running out of excuses. Um, well, it feels like we want to decoy the dragon away from the lance. So, like, knight... 3-8, dragon takes, and then lance moves, forcing the dragon to block, and then I checkmate somehow. But no, if I move my 3-7 lance, then the king is going to escape up here, unless I move the lance there. Oh. Now why... Why would I want to use my knight... Why this? Why not just push the lance immediately? What's the difference? Why is lance 3-6 not mate? Oh, because the dragon takes it. That's why not. Wait, but this check, dragon takes, and then knight here is mate. But also, if knight here first... 
dragon takes, pawn advance, they interpose with a piece. I take the interposing piece. I guess it could be a pawn that interposes, and then whatever I take in that interposed um, is not able to deliver mate. So it's actually necessary for me to sacrifice the bishop like this. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're right. The board is slightly cut off. Well, this is not much better. Um, mm -mm. How much are we cut off by? Uh, so I could trim the main menu here. Wait, why am I not doing that already? Uh, Dojo, chatty, display capture. Filters. <laughs> well, that's an interesting filter. Relative filters. Let's crop like 30 off the top and zero off the left and enable filter. Close. That's not enough cropping. You want more cropping. That's not it. Um, how much do we need to crop? Wait, this is still not enough. This doesn't make any sense. Uh, I mean, this is better, but still... Well, my board is actually very large. Weird. Um, yeah, let's crop more off the top here. I'm surprised just how much I can crop. 72 off the top, then. Oh, wait. Like, this black space at the bottom of the board is literally the capture of my screen because I don't get that bottom space either. That's what's going on here. I didn't understand that for a second. So, this should give you guys the same experience I have. Yeah, there we go. Good enough. Um, actually, I could improve this. This is going to be fun. Uh, inspect. Do, 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 do. So there's a little margin here. If I could like remove or hide this top center inner spacing, um, that might be good. Copy selector. If I set its visibility to hidden. No, that didn't do it. Uh, oh wait, I know what I could do. I'm an idiot. Um, um, inspect this. So we can set the top margins height. I can't even spell that. Whatever, we'll fix this some other time. But I can CSS this to better fit in my stream. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, this is an unfair run. I'm going to have to protest. Raise my complaint to... Um, some shogi deity. There are shogi deities, right? Um, so I see there are two pieces attacking this square. So to me, this is a focus point, and I want to sacrifice a piece on this square because it's a puzzle. That's my line of thought. Is it flawed? No. <laughs> this is how you do puzzles. You, come, you find the focus point, you throw a piece on it, and hope that it works out. But there was actually more than one focus point. They both also attack this square, but this square is not useful. That's not check. This is check, this is another focus point, because they're knight and 
Yeah, this is their night. Not sure why I saw it. Okay, I saw this flash. Even when I just swept over the corner. That's my mistake. Um, yeah, this is their knight. This is their dragon. So this is a focus point of sorts, but not a particularly useful one. Like silver drop, I'm pretty sure knight takes and I have nothing. Um, so yeah, it's got to be like silver drop here. And then the variations we have to read out. I don't even see why this would be an improvement. Like, this is so weird. What I'd like to do is take this square away, but I don't see a way to do that. Do I have some Rook Sacrifice, maybe? Rook takes Knight is terrible. Rook 3-5 looks awful, but is it okay? No. Um, Wait, can I just do rook 3-7 and silver drop on 2-6? Six, six? Um, rook 3-7. Maybe they interpose, but then bishop takes. So, no, they... Rook 3-7, uh, they take my bishop one of two different ways. Uh, I was only looking at dragon takes, but you have pawn takes then I have silver drop here mate no yes maybe one of those <laughs> it's not me no uh, this is my pawn not their pawn uh, I'm pulling a zug <laughs> uh, but yeah this has got to be it pawn takes this right yeah that's a good one. I like that one. Uh, again, I don't know like why we're watching me do this. If I'm, if I don't see something in the first thirty seconds, the odds of me finding it in the next five minutes are not very good. It's a good exercise for me, but also like not the best use of anyone's time. <laughs> um. Okay, this is their pawn, not my pawn. We established this. Again, like it's super obvious which pawns are whose, but I'm just an idiot, so. Um. Well, knight check is the first move that comes to mind. Bishop takes gold is another possibility. I do have a rook checking move, but I don't see any purpose to. Ah, so now I look, if I rook check, if the gold blocks, then I wish I could cover the square where the gold is standing right now. Oh wait, no, rook check pawn moves. There, that's the end of it. There's nothing, no? Bishop check, and then they interpose, and I'm out of checks. Um, so it's definitely not rook check. Taking the gold is tempting. 
actually it gives me a golden hand, which um, um, which surprisingly is not enough. Okay. Um, so night check, gold moves. Rook check. My head hurts. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, um, usually I wait until after the problem to look at the chat window because just the way my setup is aligned, like unless I'm super stuck, I actually have to swivel my head to see the chat window and then swivel it back to look at the board. Like it's actually kind of difficult for me to follow both at once. But I am stuck, so now I'm looking, and that's how I bat, and the, in combination with getting pinged, um, made it a little more obvious what's going on. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go look at the board again. <sighs> So, Rook takes pawn is not a promotion, and therefore is not checkmate. Um, <laughs> Wait, does no? Um. So I looked, bishop takes gold, king takes, if I do gold drop at 2-7, king 2-5, if I do gold drop at 3-5, king 1-5, and I'm out of checks. Um, like I could do, anything I could check with would just lose more material, there's no continuation there. Um, if I lead with knight check, gold takes, and if I gold drop 2-6, gold takes, and I'm out of checks again. I thought I looked at this, but knight check, gold takes, rook 3-5, king 2-6, Rook moves somewhere. Um, I thought I looked at this. I thought I considered several places the rook could move, and none of them seemed to work. Um, yeah, that seems ridiculous. Or as we say on uh, the other channel, useless. Um, this is where I, as an entertainer, wonder, like, what Oh, hang on. Um, yeah, no, I as an entertainer wonder what we're doing, because I could sit here all day staring at this and probably not get it. But also, I recognize some people want to, like, play along. So, <laughs> like, I don't understand. This is the worst possible experience for anyone other than me. Um, okay, I looked at Rook Takes Pawn, and Rook Takes Pawn's not a promotion. I keep forgetting that it's not a promotion. I keep considering it, and it's still not going to work. Um, if I start with the gold drop, is that completely ridiculous? I thought I looked at this maybe I didn't so yeah no two five is a focus point um, 
So if gold two five, gold takes knight mates. If gold two five, pawn takes bishop mates. And if king two five, that's what I was most concerned about. Um, rook mates. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, so. <laughs> we got one, guys. But yeah, I could be here all day trying to entertain an audience. It's like I'm pulling a King's Crusher. And like half of you don't know what that is. And I don't really watch him either. But um, I have tried. He plays quite seriously. He's a very respectable person. Very nice person who's also stern. When he means something, he means it. And that's good. But like sometimes he will tilt and people get all excited when that happens. So it's like here I am just pondering all day. Like, hmm, I wonder if there's a solution. And like everybody's just watching, doing all kinds of nonsense. I don't know. <laughs> like the first candidate move that occurred to me was put the lance anywhere on the second file. Now given that there are like eight candidate moves there, probably all eight of them are wrong. Um, the one which seems of greatest interest well no doesn't even matter uh, i was gonna say like lance two three seemed most interesting of all the lance drops on that file because there could be some possibility that if this were not a knight and this were a bishop maybe this knight need to move behind uh, but this is a knight so the lance drop two three is not useful either um Okay, this pawn is confusing me. There's a reason every piece is in this puzzle. And this one cannot check on the first move. Um, so what, Lance drop, King moves to this file? Oh wait, maybe the prop, no. No, the king has to go to one, two. Oh, seriously? So, yeah, I thought about this a little bit. I said we'll put this off until later in our candidate move list until we find some reason to look deeper at it. But yeah, Lance, two, two, king, one, two. And then there's value moving this gold over because that's checkmate. And what got me thinking about that is that the king running the other direction would be met by knight here mate. So that's what got me thinking. Maybe I can actually force, since the king can't run left, maybe I can force it to run right. And somehow I can mate it. So that's what's going on there. There's a bit more to it. So it's not just the lance 2-2, two, two, gold 2-3, two, mate. And it's not just lance 2-2, two, two, king over knight here, mate. There's more to this to consider. I wonder what. Because, um. <sighs> like, there's also this knight promotion, which could move there just as well as the gold could move there. Um, I think they both made. Is there anything else to consider? Yeah, no, I was just trying to find, like, have I missed something? Like, the opponent has nothing else to do here. So yeah, both 
um, moves to the square mate. The only thing else to consider is what to drink while solving these problems. <laughs> um, so I considered it'd be nice to clear Clearing the knight doesn't actually make a difference here. I was thinking, how can I use my pawn? Well, I could use my pawn with pawn drop, knight takes. And then if I promote my dragon, uh, dragon takes, then I drop a knight, they take that, and now I'm out of pieces. That might not be the best way to go. Um, so I'm considering, how do I move my dragon so I could place my knight? But also, I don't want the king to run away, so this pawn drop has to happen first, then the sack, then the knight mate. Um, if pawn drop, knight takes is one possibility, the other possibility is king takes, but that like gets mated somehow. Uh, gets mated by rook 1 4. Uh, yeah, okay. Next one. Yeah, we lost half of our viewers doing this. It's okay. <laughs> the rest of us are having a good time. So, like, regardless where this dragon moves, my bishop gets taken. That's disturbing. Wait. So dragon takes bishop, dragon here mate. What else is there? Dragon 4-4, four, four, king 2-2, two, two, then what? Oh, then bishop... One three. Okay. Um, and then king two one. And dragon four one mate. Okay, next one. Oh my goodness, this stresses me out. So many possibilities. So, wait. Isn't just like rook 2 5 block, gold 1 4, and I can take anything that blocks the checks? Gold one four, king one two. Then we ask our teammate for another piece. Oh wait, it's not bug house. Okay. Um, I guess gold two four then, right? We have to do a contact check. Gold two four, king two two. Um. Okay, that doesn't look right. Yeah, I mean, the focus point like kind of demands gold 2-4, but I don't see how to refute king 2-2. Two, two. Maybe I take the knight, but um, like I can't place a dragon. Um, And 
another idea would be gold 3-3 and knight takes, and maybe I'd have something, but doubtful. Yeah, there's no 8 there, so... <sighs> what the heck? Gold 2-4, king 2-2. Two two. not seeing anything I can do there. Um, well, no, there's gold 2 4, king 2 2, gold 3 3, knight takes. Um, there's still no follow-up. No, then there's rook to one. Um, are there other lines? Or is that just it? I thought there would be a many other variations, but it seems that all of Gota's moves are forced here. Like, they have to do knight takes on 3-3. Three, three. And then the rook drop on 2 1. Like, there's nowhere the king can run. Uh, I've not seen this pattern before. And obviously, yeah, gold 2 4, king takes, rook 2 5. But, um. Yeah, wow. Uh, what else? So Shimon has another answer. Uh, Shimon's answer is the, oh no, Shimon's saying that gold one four is refuted by lance takes. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is the answer, and then this is the continuation, and then this is the mate. These are getting more difficult. At least it feels that way. Um. All right, rook drops somewhere on the third file check. Um, just to confirm, I have only three pieces. I have a silver on one two, a dragon on four two, and a knight on three seven. Everything else is my opponent's piece. So, rook drop third file seems sloppy. More forceful seems silver 2 3 check. Um, king takes, and then what? Like, king is escaping to 1 4. It seems very difficult to have any chance of working. It'd be great if I could plug 1 4 and then somehow do that, but that's not possible. Oh wait, what, what's going on here? So dragon three two check. If they drop a piece, then silver two three is mate. If they move the silver to three three, um, stuff happens, I guess. Uh, that's the tricky part. Oh, wait. No. No, no, no. I forgot. The gold covers 3 4. 
So it's looking dragon check, silver block, silver 2 3 check, no promote. King goes to 2 4. Um, rook drop 3 4. Uh, silver takes. Dragon takes. Gold takes. So that's not good. That's less than ideal. Um, I also considered, and first I considered, but I didn't say this aloud, dragon 3-2, silver 3-3, three, three, uh, dragon 1-4, which just looks crazy, but I considered it. And I saw if the bishop interposes, then the silver mates. But both pawn takes and... Um, or if any other piece interposes, that's still me. But yeah, pawn takes and uh, the king simply running. No, the king can't run. What am I talking about? So the pawn takes seems like the hard part there. Because then if silver, uh, three, two, or two, three, no promote. Uh, king, two, four. I very quickly run out of checks. I mean, I've got silver 1-4 promote, king takes, dragon 1-2 check, king 2-4, two, uh, two, and I have a pawn in hand, pawn drop 2-5 check, uh, king 3-4, uh, dragon 3-2 check, does he still have the silver to block? I don't remember. But, like, I'm out of pieces. Yeah, plugging 2-4 would be ideal. And I'm seeing that rook drop at 1-4 seems not to do that. Wait, do I need to plug 2-4? So, dragon check. Silver blocks. Silver, um, two three check, king moves, rook drop, on uh, two five. Seems tremendously inelegant, but no gold takes. Okay. Um. Then what? I don't know. So rook drop on third file, silver blocks, rook takes. No, silver's not going to block if I rook drop, is it? Is it forced? No, they drop something else to block. And I'm out of checks. Um, yeah, that's no good. Um, rook drop 3-3 three, three forces the silver to block. I'm down a rook. I'm running out of checking pieces there. There's That can't work. Um, uh, what else? No, it has to be the first idea suggested. Like, the dragon moves to either... 3-2 or 3-1 or something like all the other checking ideas just instantly fall apart yeah dragon 3-2 silver 3-3 three, rook three, 2-4 four. um hmm wait why did I think that didn't work Why did I imagine that that looked... Okay. I missed a point. Yeah, let's get one step closer. So this. 
then I imagined that rook drop here was no good. Um, because I didn't envision this dragon mate. Um, yeah. Not sure what was so hard about that for me. No promote, no promote. All right, there we go. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what rooks are there for in these problems. Almost exclusively when you're dropping a rook, you're dropping it right on the king's face. Like, otherwise this would not be an interesting problem. So, like, if you have a rook in hand, it's almost always going to go next to the king. Like, that's how these go. And that's maybe not the same as how normal shogi works. But it's definitely how these problems work. Okay, so... Um... My brain melted a little bit because I thought I saw the answer right away. Um, that can't be. Yeah. Somehow I hallucinated and thought I hit some check and then check and then check. But I forgot, like, silver takes. Or even king takes. Like, this is not a pawn. This is a knight. This is a knight. Still, it seems dragon uh, two, uh, two six is the move here. It just feels like that's the symmetrical move in this position. Um, but also, that's just completely stupid. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. King takes. And there's no follow-up whatsoever. Um, so then you look at silver 2-6. Also symmetrical if their silver takes. Um, I keep considering all kinds of ridiculous sacrifices that lead absolutely nowhere. Um, it's good to consider candidate moves, but identifying candidate moves would be a good start. Like, if I'm labeling everything as a candidate, then maybe I'm not doing a good job identifying candidate moves. Alright, so this silver covers 2-6. That's the reason there's a silver on 3-7s, because we can't put anything on 2-6 in this problem. That's the meaning of the silver. Which in turn means that our first move is dragon 1-6. If knight takes uh, silver, no. Um, I thought I saw a mate. But again, the king's just going up to 2-6. Um, well, no, our horse, but no, they have two lances. Never mind. Um, I mean, it has to be dragon 1-6, because it's the only move that doesn't make any sense here. Like, if I were making a shogi problem, the answer would be dragon 1-6. Um, but I'm fairly confident... Well, this is a pawn up here. Like, they have two lances. This is not a third lance. This is a pawn. So there is no lance takes. So they are forced to do knight takes. And it's not like a lance is going to ruin every one of my moves. Um, but then, like, if I silver drop at 3-6 next, lance takes, and I've basically run out of pieces, because, um, 
horse one five, king three four. There's nothing there. Um, wait, no, if I sack like dragon three six, knight takes. Silver one six, king two six, uh, horse one five mate. That's one variation. Variation B would be um, the horse takes on three six, silver one six, king one four, silver one five, king two three, horse. 2 4 mate. No, that's not mate. Silver 2 4, king 2 2. I run out of checks. Um, just kidding, there was no mate there, guys. I fooled you. At least I tried. Be nice if we could use both of our knights in this mate somehow. So dragon three six, knight takes, silver one six, king one four, silver check uh, and two five, king it's out of the range of my knights on one three. Um and I can't force it back into range. Oh, but I could actually take the lance on 3-1 if he goes king 1-3. So he has to go king 2-3 instead, but then I have knight 1-5. Unless uh, my uh, silver is already on 1-5. My silver is on 1-5. I can't do knight 1-5. Um, Okay, how about horse 4 3? King 1 4. The king 1 4 seems unnecessary. They could just block with the lance. Like, horse 4 3 leads nowhere. Horse takes knight, maybe instead. King takes. This can't lead anywhere good. And yeah, this sucks. Um, okay, what about dragon four five? King two six. Leads nowhere. Okay. Um, how about silver 2-6, silver takes, and then we check with one of these pieces. Um, well, I've lost my patience with this problem. I'm sorry. I'm going to play a move because I lost my patience with this. My head hurts. We're going to move on to the next one. Um, okay, so knight 2 4, king moves. Promote 1 1, king 3 2. 
No, the king three two is illegal. King three three. Um, king escapes. I'm being stupid here. The first thing I saw is, of course, the solution. Um, and as I was trying to speak it aloud, I said the wrong thing. This caused me to look at a different variation. So I looked silver drop, bishop check, promote, king 2-4. This is different. This is different for so many reasons. Like for example, silver drop, and then if bishop here, they could do this capture. Um, I could do like dragon takes my bishop and then I could promote here check um, I actually have two promotions there but I could do promote to a dragon king to the corner knight here check dragon takes and I'm out of pieces um, Bishop one three King takes Promote King two four I lose Wait, can I change this move order a bit? Uh, knight promote. Um, if dragon takes, bishop sack, king takes. Oh, I let him out. That's no good. Um, oh, hang on. This is more obvious than I thought, so... Silver drops not check. We can't do that. Um, why did I think silver 2-4 was check? I don't know. It's because I'm tired. Uh, what else can I try? So silver 1-1, one, one, king takes rook, bishop 1-3, king 1-4. It's no good. Silver 1-1, one, one, king takes rook. And if I had another silver, I'd just put it on 2-3, and then the king runs away still, because I'm bad. Also, the dragon could take. So, lots of reasons this doesn't work. Um, if I pro knight promote 3-2... Dragon takes is forced because if the king were to move, then. Well, I was thinking uh, silver drop on uh, 2 1, but I forgot silvers don't move sideways, so king 1 1 is actually kind of hard to contend with. Um, oh, hang on. No, so if. If I promote knight on 3-2, and if the king moves, uh, then rook 2-1 promote his mate. Um, so yeah, that forces instead. Dragon takes the promoted knight. But then what? 
I could trade my rook for the dragon. Maybe feel a little better about the position. <laughs> but no, I think once we have the dragon on 3-2, then we have to consider the bishop sack on 1-3, because what else are you going to do? Um, and this is... Yeah. Uh, so this would force king takes 1-3. Um, I still have my silver in hand, but my silver can't attack the 1-3 square. That's a problem. Um. Oh. Wait, that's interesting. Alright, I think I see it. Also, I'm super bored after 3,237 seconds, so I was playing that out of boredom. Uh, silver through three. Uh, promoted rook takes. Bishop one three looks strong. Yeah, let's look at this. Like, the lack of a timer does not account for my lack of attention span. So, this is your idea. I was never going to find this, ever. Um... That is really clever. Yeah, I could have sat there like all day, all week, all month, never found that. So, um, okay, and if king takes one three. <sighs> I don't know. I still want to promote my knight. No, I'm sorry, that's not checked, because the king's on 1-3. Like I said, no attention span. Um, um, like, the first thing I looked at was the rook promotion. Oh, we take the dragon. And then we... Mm, why is this so hard? Thankfully, we have a knight supporting the attack. Um, but yeah, we have to take the dragon in that case. And if king 2-4, then fuck, I don't know. Then, like, place the rook on 2-3. And the king takes the knight. And then you check with your dragon. So it'd be like, uh, king takes, we take our dragon, king is, tries to escape, rook drop, king takes, check here on 3-5. Um, and regardless of whether the king moves or something blocks, like this dragon, in combination with the second follow-up mates. Um, yeah, so rook takes dragon, it's just deadly. I was afraid that might not be enough, but no, it certainly is enough, with only a pawn defending. There's no way to interpose and ruin the mating net. This is a bad sume. We're talking just about my solution, or are we talking about... Oh, the... oh we're talking about Gota not playing the hardest defense. Or no, we're talking about my solution sucking. Um, well, for one thing, uh, I considered rook takes 3-3 three, three and didn't remember I could promote the rook. Promoting the rook is a tremendously vast improvement upon just rook takes dragon. You want to rook takes and promote while you're doing it, because I'm an idiot. Um... Okay, but yeah, you're also talking about, um, well, you were talking about this problem, how Gota could put up better resistance by taking on 1-3. Um, because what actually happens here, I've forgotten already. So that's mate in 5. 
or whatever you guys call the numbering. Um, so one, two extra moves. Um, whereas if they take here, then we take promote king there. And we can't mate on the next move, can we? And there's no cleaner solution. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. There is no... <laughs> yeah. This, in terms of theoretical problems, this is not one of the most pure problems out there. Like, every beginner is going to take on 1-3. Um, but no, in terms of drawing out the solution as long as possible, um, the answer would be to... Um, to do... Oh, I'm sorry, every beginner is going to do uh, dragon takes 1-3. But to extend the solution as long as possible, king takes 1-3 is the answer and therefore this is not a pure problem. It's a bad problem and it's also bugged? Okay, I'm confused. Like, I get that this, um, that Gota's is not playing the move that causes the longest sequence. But you're saying this is also bugged. I'm confused. Does bugged mean something? Oh, that is the bug. Okay, and it's a bad problem apart from being bugged for some other reason. Or maybe you're just saying it's bugged and therefore it's a bad problem. Okay, now you're saying it's a bad problem because we are left with a rook in hand. Ah! Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, we have an extra piece in hand that there's nothing for us to do with. So, I like this problem, but it does not conform to the same standards as almost every other problem. So, it's not very pure. Uh, let's take a look at the other ones we failed. So, we failed this one. Fuck, I have no idea. Let's take a look at the other one I failed, because I'm not going to get that. It's too hard. We'll try, but um, let's look at this one first. I've already forgotten how I failed this. Now, looking at it, I want to promote my pawn. Um, not sure why that didn't even occur to me earlier. So if I push pawn 1, 2, lance takes, and that ends the problem. Um, well, no, it seems to end the... Oh, I remember why I failed this. It's because I did the sack, and then I mis... I promoted when I did not intend to promote. There we go. Yeah, so... Yeah, this is the unpromotion blunder. This is... Uh, this is the one I got stumped on. And I am perpetually stumped on this. Like, this is hopeless. This is slightly more hopeful than the other one, the last problem, but um, out of the three, the third one that I failed is what I mean by the last one. But um, this is slightly more hopeful because, like, the number of possible moves I can consider here is less somehow. Like this search tree is not as enormous, but um, like this is still painful. This is extremely painful. No idea. Oh, hey! Welcome! Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome. I failed 
Again, we did do some sume practice. I failed this one. I considered, like, so many candidate moves here. I spun on this for, like, ten minutes. And I still have no idea what the first move is. Like, I considered dragon check here, dragon check here, dragon check here, this check, this check, a horse check, horse check. Silver drop, silver drop, silver drop, um, silver drop, silver drop. Maybe one of these I didn't consider. But, like, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is pretty bad. So, this is tricky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's silver drop. All right, that actually helps considerably. Because there's only five silver drop checks. That sounds right. We could probably... Uh, you know, I would speculate which one it is, but and try to make jokes about it. But, like, this is... This is over my head. Oh my god. So silver 1-4 looks the most fun. Um, I keep thinking this is a lance. It's not a lance. It's a pawn. I keep imagining silver drop, lance takes, and then maybe there's something fun. Um, that's a pawn. That's not a lance. Just because it's on the edge file and there's nothing behind it doesn't mean that it's a lance. <laughs> Uh, oh god all right so even having the hint that like silver drop is the first move and even having like this beautiful wait silver drop silver takes horse takes king takes rook takes or so dragon takes, king moves, uh, king escapes. And all I have is a damn silver. I had a story to tell. Um, that looked promising for an instant. It looked so promising. Why couldn't that be it? Silver 2-6, silver takes, horse takes 2-4. Well, I have a horse in hand and a silver in hand. Like, that's still no good, but, um... Oh my god. And then I just asked my bug house partner for another piece. Uh, I just like this shape with... The silver here and silver takes like five in a row. There's something beautiful about that. Um, Check, silver takes, check, silver blocks. How annoying. Oh, we have a, a knight in hand. Yeah, try a different drop. Yeah, I can't get too fixated on that one because it's not working. Um, well, another point that multiple pieces attack that I don't have anything protecting is the 3-4 point. So if I were to drop a silver on 3-4 and if a lance were to take it, then maybe I might have threats. Actually, yeah, I have a threat. 
If the lance is here, we've taken this square away, then this dragon sack knight takes a horse 1 5 mate. Uh, are there other variations? Oh, king takes on move one is a variation. But after lance takes, there are no other variations. Um, so, silver drop, king takes. Horse four three, king. No, this doesn't look good. What else? Um, silver drop three four, king takes. Dragon four three, king back. I'm out of checks. But I could sack the horse on two five two four. King takes, and I have a knight in hand, and the knight looks no good. Yeah. Alright, so what else is there? How can I make this maybe work? Wait. Um, silver 3-4, king takes. Dragon 3-6. King 2-3 looks terrible. Is it terrible? Maybe. Um, king 2 3, knight 1 5, king 2 2, horse 3 2, lance 3 2, lance drop on 2 3, King, 3-1, promote the lance on 2-1, king, 2-4. Yeah, this is, uh, doesn't mate. Um, what else can I try? So, like, the silver 3-4 looks like the answer because lance takes, but I have to find how to deal with king takes. Wait, oh, that was a lot easier than I thought. This knight is useful. Silver drop, king takes. I can move my dragon here safely. I missed that. King back, I, dragon takes here, mate. That's a lot easier than these, like, ridiculously long variations. Uh, okay. Sleepy chinchilla makes sleepy mistakes, but it works. Yeah, this has to be it. And then I forgot. <laughs> Spent so long looking at other variations. No, we surrounded the king. We need this to move. To get this to move, we check here. And then this is mate. Okay. Um, that was fun. I'm going to watch a game now because um, I can't continue doing this. <laughs>